What is going on guys? Dan with Barrel Blades and Barbells. I got something today that I have been patiently waiting for about three months now, maybe a little longer. It was on back order. Um, everybody knows the situation with COVID and shipping and getting parts from you know different places have been an issue. So uh, it just had to be patient and it finally showed up. And that is the new Sightmark Wraith 4K Mini. This thing is substantially smaller than the old models. And I've had, I've now had all three of them. But uh, so I was going to do a box opening, but I kind of opted against that just because I wanted to kind of show you guys. I didn't want to, I don't like making videos like super long. Um, I try to stay 10 minutes or less, but I wanted to do more of a comparison between the 4K, the regular 4K and the 4K mini. That way you can kind of get more of a, um, just a general overview of what the two um, have for options because there are a little bit of differences in the two but I wanted to kind of just touch base on them that way when I go to shoot and I actually have some some shooting footage to do another video of what I actually think about how it performs and that I don't have to touch on all that We've, we'll touch on that on on this video so this is just going to be kind of a general overview on this one but um, it is the Wraith 4K Mini, and if you're looking, you're interested, is the SM18041 is the model number. Um, just quick overview from the box. Uh, it is 4K 2160p with a digital magnifier, uh, 4K recording with sound, which is key because the original Wraith did not have sound. Um, it is 2 to 16 magnification. Uh, 32 on the the lens, uh, daytime color, nighttime uh, regular night vision, uh, eight times digital zoom, has 14 different reticle options, nine colors for the reticle. Uh, you can do five different weapon profiles, so you can save five different uh, individual weapons on it. The the zeros, I mean, and it is first and second focal plane reticles which i the, the other one didn't have that um so that was one of the things i wanted to actually touch on it does uh as you're going through the options and, and this is what it actually looks like well i've got it up here um while you're going through your options um i noticed that it's got sfp and ffp so second second focal plane first focal plane um it does run uh mil dot and moa both so if you're one of those individuals that like the mill dot by all means you can run that i prefer moa um, just because i'm a little more used to that uh mathematics if you will but uh let me uh let me cut away and we'll come back and i'll show you guys both of them all right so this is the original 4k now i don't have the original wraith anymore i actually sold my original wraith to fund towards my my mini um, but this is the mini here. I'm going to hold them up like this so you can see. <laughs> There's like no comparison in size between these two. Like they are, you know, I'll do it side by side like this. So you can see like there it's, it's uh, two thirds the size. It is a little bit thicker on the side profile. If you look over here, it's got that battery box that hangs off. Um, but lengthwise it is substantially shorter is a little bit lighter a um, couple things that it has that the other one the original 4k doesn't have that i really like first off it's got the pop open lens covers front and back the other one has uh like a rubber boot on the front just that rubber cover which it works but these are way nicer um something that this one has that the other one or that this one doesn't have that the other one has is an onboard battery like a rechargeable battery this one actually has a, a battery door and it's very heavily spring loaded. So if you push the button, it pops open, but it's CR one, two threes takes two of those. Um, it does come with four CR one, two threes. The other two actually go for the IR light, which it comes with. Um, and I'll get to that here in just a minute, but yeah, size wise, this thing is light years ahead of the other one. I want to go over what you actually get with the, out of the box like what actually comes in the box since i didn't do a box opening i want to go over everything that you guys will be receiving in the box so um 
I told you this is this is essentially everything that you get for the optic itself. Uh, it comes just like this. So if you're one of those people that's like, hey, I like simple design, this is the optic for you. Very slim profile, very lightweight. Um, the the zero on it, super simple. This comes together exactly the way it is. I took it out of the box. I bolted it on there. I didn't even take the 4K sticker off the top. There's three other things in the box besides the quick start guide. And, and there's a wrench, a little Allen wrench, but there's the IR light. It does come with an IR light. If you've seen the original 4K, it's very similar design, um, just a little bit slimmer profile. It is about, I don't know, half inch shorter there. Is a little bit lighter, similar uh, similar mount to some degree. This one has more of a a uh, under and off to the side. This one has more of straight hang directly under the bottom. This one I wasn't a big fan of the way it turns on because it's very easily it's a it's a nice knob, but it gets turned on if you you can bump it and turn it on by accident. This one's got a click on the back. It's a little more uh, safe to not kill your CR one two three batteries in here, but does have three settings, uh, low, medium, high, just like the other one. So there's the light. Let me put this back in here. If you're one of the guys that likes running the, the rubber boot, the cup for your eye, it comes with one. You literally just push it on the back and it's, it's on there. And the last thing is it comes with a mini USB-C cable. So it's USB on this end, USB-C on this end. This is important because you can run... Uh, an external battery on this. So it's got two doors or ports over here. The first one just gives you access to the USB-C. The big one opens up to where your uh, micro SD goes and it also has the port for the USB-C on that as well. So everything's kind of encased. It's kind of nice that they added this second little door. Um, you can buy uh, like this, it's a mount that goes up here. You can put a battery in it and then run the wire back and plug the wire in and it uh, you can run for hours and not kill your CR123 batteries. And it's a rechargeable battery. Just run it off this cable. Super nice. Uh, Bob Abbott out of uh, Michigan. He's the guy. If you're looking to get that set up, he's the guy to get a hold of. Um, other than that, that's pretty much everything it comes with. Like I said, this the, the adjustment lug comes on it. The caps come already on it and the mount already on it. You just take it out of the box and bolt it on. So super simple design there. So something else that this one doesn't have that the original 4K does have, um, not that it's a big deal because I didn't use it anyways, but on the side of the original 4K, there's actually a pick rail over here. So you can mount your light on it over the, uh, your IR light. The the new Mini does not. Now, obviously, it's substantially smaller, so I don't know where you'd mount it anyways. Um, I, I personally like having my light mounted on the bottom, out in front, out like this. Uh, but this, this particular one, I actually just threw this on. This is my 300 Blackout. I just threw it on here just for kind of get a visual and see how it how I liked it in this, this particular format, this setup. So um, something else that uh, I like. Now the original Wraith didn't have any kind of, um, for the, the actual adjustment for the, the focus, it didn't have like a thumb notch or any kind of a, anything to get a hold of. So the 4K, the original 4K has this guy, but the mini, they upgraded it again and it's got this big lug that hangs off the side. Now, some people might be like, ah, I don't like that lug because I might get caught on clothing or something. You can actually take it off. It just slides forward and uh, it, it is removable, but it comes with it, which is nice. So that's one of the other advantages, I guess you could say, that of getting the four or the mini. Um, moving into the internals, the operating system, it's pretty much the exact same functionality. Um, if you look, this one has a singular round knob. So you click in, that's your, your select, and then there's a rotation left or right as you're, you're uh, moving through the menus. And then over here is your power button. Your power button actually acts as your uh, backup button. So to go back one menu. On this one, it kind of, they kind of move back to the original Wraith setup where you've got 
a left, right, up, down, and a center select button. Um, the button to the left would be your back button on that. The center button is your select. So other than that, the internal um, software portion of it is pretty much identical to the 4K with the exception of a few little minor details. Uh, the, the first focal plane, that's new as far as I know. It, unless there was an update in the, uh, the original 4K that I don't know about, it's possible. But the first focal plane uh, is, is new to me, I'll put it that way. Um, 2 to 16 on the magnification. I know the 4K had two different models that were out. And one of them, I believe, was 1 to 8, and the other one was 2 to 16. I'm pretty sure that was the only two models that came out. There might have been a third one, but I'm pretty sure that was on the original Wraith, and it was like 4 to 32. So uh, one of the things a lot of people complained about on the original uh, Wraith was the field of view was zoomed in from the, from the get-go. 4 was too much. So they backed out to 2 to 16 on uh, the 4K, and then they came out with a model that was the one to eight. So this for me is ideal. I did deer hunt this year with this exact setup, like this exact gun, everything that's on here was what I had. Plus I was actually running it suppressed. Um, I did not take a deer with this this year. I had one dead to rights, but it was too small. I let it, I let it, I let him roll. So, um, but I did get some footage through it and everybody I've showed is like, dude, it's insanely clear how, how, clear that picture is and I'm like yeah I know last year I shot my doe with the original one and people thought the picture was clear on that and this blows it out of the water so I'm excited to be able to take this guy out especially being the, the compact size yeah this thing's it's it's pretty cool so last thing I want to actually talk about is zeroing on this if you had a have used a wraith before you know how easy these things are to zero put it in a vice put it in a tripod whatever take your shot you go in hit adjust and you just like if i hit here and my optics here you just go in and move the optic over and down to where they line up together hit save take another shot i've literally been able to zero in one shot like it's it's that simple. These things are super easy to zero. It does not take a rocket science to do, rocket scientist to, to zero these. I've actually think that they're easier to zero than a red dot or you know an optic like this. It's just me. Um, I find them very simple to use. But that's how that that zero option. It's a it's a one shot zero. They call it. They say to take three shots. I've done it in one. I took the shot. I could see it moved it over, hit save, took my second shot exactly where I wanted to be. So uh, very, very ideal for um, your backyard shooter, hillbilly bonehead like I am. So, all right, guys, well, I hope you liked the video um, going over the what you get with the Sightmark 4K Mini. Um, just to give you guys a kind of an overview again of what it actually looks like. I am going to try getting this uh, mounted up for some shots. I think I'm going to put it on this, uh, um, my Ruger Precision 22 back here. I got some subsonics and a can I can put on it. It's super, super quiet. I can shoot without making the neighbor's dog lose its mind. And there's been some skunks out back. Um, I might have to do some eradication there. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get some footage through it and give you guys an actual uh, review of what I think about it, how it runs. Um, I'm gonna try running it actually on either this or the 5.56 there for some uh, range target acquisition, see how fast I can actually get on target with it. Um, something I noticed on the original Wraith was there was just a tiny, I don't wanna say lag, but like it felt like it was catching up to me. So as I was panning across, I would stop and then it would catch up just is ever so slight the 4k i couldn't see it at all i'm hoping this is the same i'm assuming it's going to be the same um but this the original 4k was a little bulky to be um running any kind of range as far as like tactical movement stuff this on the other hand i might actually be able to do it um it's not as heavy and it's way way slimmer profile so 
hopefully I can get some uh, some range time with it, do some tactical shoot, move, communicate kind of stuff and see how it performs there. And then uh, obviously do some, maybe do some coyote and um, varmint hunting with it. So yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Uh, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, stay with me. Um, yeah, go check out my Instagram, Barrels, Blades, and Barbells, and my TikTok under the same name. And if you got any questions, comments, concerns, throw them in the comments down there, and I'll address them. I try to get to everybody, every comment I get. I try to, you know, give you guys a reply or something. But, uh, yeah, hope you liked the video. As always, stay tuned, stay tactical, and I'll see you next time.